Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is my uh, picture, most wanted, I think, a request for me to do this drill, so you can see. That's the one of the paintings that I ordered as a test to to sell to you if you're interested. So as you see, canvas print is gorgeous. Everything is clear. And I started last night, I think. Oh no, I did um, the other day just to try a little bit and then I was so tired, I went to bed to sleep. And last night I did most of this painting and this morning. So I'm gonna show you how much so far I did. Here you go, the snow on the roof. Here, it's getting there. Chimneys. See this beads are sparkle. If I can bring some more light, maybe. Beautiful. And I did almost. Oh, I don't know. Well, not half yet, but a lot. All the way. Kind of hear some. Uh, missing but so far I like it I kind of always start to do my painting from the bottom some people like to start at the top and I'm using this um, daylight and if I need it magnifying glass Ah, let's see how much we can see through magnifying glass. I don't know. <laughs> Does it look the same or better with magnifying glass? Can you see better beads? Maybe. So like for this painting, because the canvas are so good, I don't use magnifying glass to place my beads. But what I use for, I'm going to show you, I have my tray here, let me just, this flare, move my lamp a little bit of the way, I have a tray of beads, so when I put fresh beads from the bag, I shake them, tap it down to make my row, you know I teach you in my last video how to do that. And then I grab my magnifying glass and look for damaged ones, if they have any holes or not. So these beads are really clean and barely, I found just a little, little bit of these holes, like this color, I don't see any of these holes. So that's what I'm using magnifying glass. And if I see some damaged one, I just, you know, pick it up. And here is my Tic Tac box. That's so far, you see how many beads. Uh, most of the white ones, uh, I found some with holes, uh, but not too many. From so much of making it, this is like nothing. And I missed some because I was working at night last night. So I could see few beads okay I can show you where we're, okay you can see here has a two tiny holes big and this one because I was working last night so obviously at night light not as good and because they are so tiny you can see them better from camera but if I would look straight in my canvas I would miss them so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pick them up and replace them with good ones so I'm gonna show you the bag of beads in here so I have this uh, still I have here on the top but I know already it's gonna be lots of beads left and I already have some finished colors that it's already la um, lots of beads left now I want to show you something that is important. 
I did here purposely. Okay, let's see if you're gonna see through the camera. Let me find the first point where I see here. Okay, so this is obviously round beads. And to make a perfect painting, you see this one? I placed this purposely a little bit higher so you can see the difference from perfectly placed bead in the middle of that square, which is placed straight on the top of the number or any symbol you have. And you're not gonna have this peeking through black line of the number. So you just have to push a little bit over and you have no peeking numbers. So I might miss some or some, but pretty much I don't see any peeking. And if you think, you know, well, you're doing this for yourself, who cares? Nobody gonna see it. That's for you. No, you are thinking wrong. It's because it's for you. You spend money on this painting. You spend months and months sometimes if you're waiting from AliExpress on your diamond painting. And you are the most valuable customer for yourself. You have to treat yourself like the most valuable customer. So do it proper way for yourself because you love yourself and you want the best for yourself. So just replace the bead if you have a little tiny hole, if you have some leftover beads. If you're not, that's kind of different story. But if you see some numbers speaking through this, uh, you know, under your bead, just push it over, hide it. And the best thing to find is use your magnifying glass. And uh, that's what I do usually after I finish my diamond painting. I just go with magnifying glass, look through something, maybe I missed somewhere, I don't know. And just place the bead right on the top of the number, just push it over. Uh, it's probably would be different if you have sometimes the symbols that it has like circle around your number I didn't make those yet and I don't know if beads would fully cover the circles or not so uh, this print uh, pretty easy to do and this one is not from Aliexpress as, as I already said before this one is straight from the company that I'm gonna order for sale and if you like this painting I guess you can pre-order or at least Tell me that you like it and you would love to have. Uh, I believe this is, is 40 by 60. And as this particular company, 40 by 60, they measure to the end of the canvas, not from printing thing. Now, what else is, it's about special beads that all of them are, are 2.8 millimeters. And I don't know, let's try to zoom in and you will see the cut on them. Let me try to zoom. Okay, now, can you count all those sides? Do you see how many and how different it is? It's more pointy up, so it's more dimensional than beads from Aliexpress and if you look on these beads and the beads that you have from Aliexpress you will see how much difference it is on the cuts. This one I didn't even try to count yet because I don't know I need like a very very good magnifying glass maybe like the jewelry magnifying glass that you can see very closely but do you see the quality? It's beautiful and clean and, and as I say it's barely any damaged beads. In red one particular I didn't find not even one bead with the hole. They are all perfect. And just the more was a few of them on a white one as I say before. So how about we just gonna try to do a little bit of painting together. If you like to stick around, I'm kind of home alone, just with my fur friends. I have my Tim Hortons coffee here, and let's just chop a little bit and see 
if we can do a little bit of painting together. I kind of never try yet to do so. I'm just gonna hold my painting in my hands. I'm gonna even up this just very gentle. Uh huh. See, one is sneak right in here on the canvas. So usually I shake my beads over this like clear cover sheet so no beads sneak and fall on my painting because sometimes it's sticky so okay let's see if we can do together we're just gonna do a little bit at the time and maybe chat at the same time together so i have here row at three and for this painting this is my favorite tool that's picking three beads at the time and what i find that my other tool that has a seven beads you can pick in a row not good with round beads because you make a little bit overlapping the numbers so in three you have more control about that okay so i pick three beads and i'm just gonna kind of like a stamp uh, because i'm doing W's they are very wide number and sometimes I need to kind of move them a little bit around because I can see a little bit this picking lines not here so the other numbers was was kind of a little bit more easier to do but I just have it fast and sometimes I just move my tray even more close so that way I put my wrist on the beads that I already made and it's not sticky. And I just like hold my wrist on a canvas and just move them like this and it's fast. And less movements for your shoulders or wrist. Okay, and that's how we're gonna place. It's so easy. Don't push too hard on your pen because it's so easy to do. I did two gardens yesterday um, when season starts you know summer spring this is my business what I do I do landscaping and cleaning gardens for people planting flowers trimming some bushes I don't mind digging in the dirt because that's where i came from i came from when we love to plant some stuff gardens fruits vegetables so i don't mind so that's what i pick to do for the seasons you know i don't mind to help people who can't do it or don't have a time so i just i did two uh, gardens yesterday for two brothers they live next door to each other and I think that's beautiful when family is so close to each other and I just like oh I wish my sister was next to me and you know I have three more sisters my brother passed away and young kind of age yet he was um, let's see eight years older than I am and I really miss him so yeah that's how you do just place bit by bit and it's so it's so relaxing So I think if uh, I put my mind to it and more coffee, I might will finish a half of this today. You can also pick uh, two beads at the same time in here. I find when I place three beads at a time, for me it's more uh, comfortable when I do horizontal line because if I do this way I kind of like you know close for myself and I don't see what I'm doing 
so I like to do this way that way I can place beads perfect I can oh see two one I lost it okay boom so uh, if you saw my unboxing video 10 diamond pictures that I unbox uh, as a samples to, to check on the canvas and quality of the beads and this is one of them uh, I have some that obviously before I decided to sell the um, diamond paintings I ordered a whole bunch of from Aliexpress and now I'm like I want to do those uh, diamond painting too and this all right and now I have tons so some of this canvas and beads I will sell now because obviously I'm not gonna be able to do them all I'm not a speedy bunny and well I think I'm doing pretty fast but I mean it's so many it would be not possible for me to finish them all so if any of you interested you can send me a private message and you know it's gonna be not free shipping of course unfortunately because um, I'm in Canada and I'm paying big money for special shipping so that it's come fast and I'm paying in US dollar uh, for diamond paintings and US dollar for the shipping and then plus Canadian customs take their own fee so then I have to pay plus Canadian dollars for being you know delivered to my door and it's kind of sucks because ah, oh, you just like spending too much money for really nothing because it's considered like a painting and I don't know why they it's not like a painting I would say it's a craft item I don't know but yeah just lots of money just for the shipping so same here if you would like uh, I will ship but it's gonna cost you whatever is shipping is mm, and it would be delivered to you if you wish in two business days oops I messed up in here so I'm just gonna use my nails and pick it up one bit fell out so yeah I can ship but the faster is two days and I think um, in Canada it's gonna be around 20 20 dollars depends where you are and you ask a little bit more I was at the post office I was asking about the prices so yeah also if you know you have three days delivery or one week so it's getting a little cheaper but if you have some friends that share with you the same love of diamond painting, you can split shipping and order together. And I would be, you know, shipped to you in one box and you would save some money on the shipping. So now another thing when you're working with beads and your beads start to get little uh, sometimes well this one came okay sometimes beads getting electrical and keep sticking to your fingers to your tool and just making a mess so what you do you have dryer sheet from your laundry all you need to do is tap your beads with this sheet move this around you can even wipe your tool if you want to and now you have zero static your bit's gonna be not sticky anymore so that's a one little tip for those who don't know yet okay should we do some more diamond painting together let's do some more I'm lonely so you guys gonna keep me company
you can leave me in a comment what are you working on and how many diamond paintings you already did it's so addictive I like any craft. When I was uh, younger, I used to lot knit and crochet. And then when I came to Canada, I finally, you know, discovered for myself Michael's store. And it's like so much craft stores here in Canada. And I was like, oh my God, because I love beads. I love beading jewelry and stuff like that and I still do and I have lots of them but I never sell anything because I feel kind of bad to take your money from people believe it or not and I know I pay money for it. it's not like I got them for free and I just like I couldn't figure out how to charge for people so I'm just like collecting collecting and just wearing them myself And then I uh, started to make some t-shirts with vinyl. I have my machine that cut for me vinyl and I do some orders as you know vinyl t-shirts or stuff like that. What else I do? I like to do flowers, paper flowers, any paper craft. I like to do flowers with clay or sugar flowers from gum paste I have so many collections to share actually with you I can share with you collection about my baking stuff what I have all this uh, 